In Central America, Panama's President Jose Molino has made a bold move to tackle the country's role as a major migrant transit point. In a recent announcement, he unveiled plans for a series of deportation flights that will take migrants to Ecuador, India, and China. His announcement comes at a critical time, with the U.S. elections approaching and immigration becoming a hot-button issue. The deportation flights, which are financed by Washington, reflects America's interest in controlling illegal migration. Now, under an agreement jointly signed by Panama and the United States, Washington has committed to provide Panama City with at least $6 million for equipment, transportation, and logistics to remove foreign nationals who do not have a legal basis to remain in Panama. On July 1st, the government of President Mulino signed in Mao with the United States to support and provide help in issues of migration and national safety. We hope we can regularize paperwork workflows of migrants as we move forward. The initiative started earlier this week when a flight carrying at least 29 Colombian migrants were sent back. Molino disclosed that flights to Ecuador are scheduled for August 29th, flights to Colombia for August 30th, and those to India for September 3rd. However, the exact dates and numbers of flights to China remain unspecified. We are working with Colombia in the deportation process that is taking place. We are coordinating with other nationalities, for example with Ecuador, we are also approaching India. The issue of Venezuela has a particular uniqueness because of the diplomatic relations. Now we are prevented from making any kind of movement to Venezuela. The Darien Gap, a perilous jungle connecting Colombia to Panama, has long been a dangerous hurdle for migrants making their way to the United States. So far this year, more than 520,000 people have entered Panama through the Darien. This marks a 30 percent increase in crossings compared to the same period from January to August of last year. Officials also estimate that the vast majority of these migrants come from Venezuela. But since Panama and Venezuela have hit a roadblock in their dwindling relationship, Panama has been unable to deport Venezuelan migrants. Progressively, we will do what is necessary to contain the flow of migrants through the jungle. But I'm encouraged to see that we've started the agreement with the United States has begun. Now, as the U.S. presidential election looms, this latest development underscores the intensifying focus on migration and the complex efforts that are needed to manage the influx. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. Kamala, you're fired. I say, bring it on. If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Hamm. Join me from Washington here on First Post America. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree. A News 18 Network initiative. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment.
So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We are counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Ham, coming to you live from the nation's capital.